Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with Train Sim World 2, and to do something a little different, I figured we'd get away from the sand patch for a little bit. Actually, I think I'm going to continue the sand patch in live streams because we're starting to get into um, scenarios and timetables that are taking way too long to uh, put into video. So, we're on the coast, East Coastway DLC, and we will be going to Brighton to Orr via Eastbourne today. So let's uh let's see what this is about. Let's see if I even remember how to start this train up. It's been a while. Um on my passenger doors. Okay, we can do that. Oh boy. Um you know what guys I am going to do a quick refresher on this train. and be right back. All right, we're back and I had this figured out. So, unlock the doors. Do this here. And we should be ready to go. All right, so we actually have people. Very cool. It seems like since the last update, <clears throat> I'm seeing more people getting on and off the train, so that's a good thing. I like that, because prior to that, I didn't see a lot of people, and now they got this rush hour update coming up fairly soon. So that's interesting. It will be interesting to see what they do with that. this train moving you know I gotta say I've heard people say that this is like the least favorite DLC but I absolutely love it I mean I just think it's a really good DLC I like the uh, I like the way the train is easy to use even though I did forget how to start the train up but I haven't done this one in a while so gotta kind of give me a little bit of a pass on that but uh yeah, I, I really like this. I mean, I think the scenery, I just think the map is fantastic. Alright, so let's get back in the train. Let's see where it is we have to go. Stop at location. 3.2 miles. Oh, okay, that's right. That's right. This train slows down fairly quickly. You got to admit feel a little claustrophobic in this train. It's kind of small. Can I open the window? Locked window. Yes. Alright. Let's get some fresh air going. I mean, look at that. What is not to like about that, guys? Man, I like that a lot. I do. I like that a lot. I think that looks so good. Just a beautiful summer day it looks like in this in this city people going about their business let's see here what time is it it's like okay it's actually 10 in the morning so I have no idea where these people would be going maybe to and from work you never know The horns on these passenger trains always kill me. Um, is this a tunnel? Yeah, it looks like a tunnel. Very short one. Oh, let's get this baby moving. All right, so four is as high as we can go. So what do you guys think on the, uh, the whole rush hour update? I gotta say, $29.99 for three new maps. That's a pretty good deal with this game, considering that normally one map is 30 bucks. so not too bad. I'm really curious to see the optimizations, though, especially for PS4, because that's what I'm playing on. 
take a look outside again. Lovely view. Take off all, all that stuff and just take a look at the beautiful English countryside. Haha, <laughs> love it. Oh. Hey, there's another train. That's kind of crazy that you can go through the station so fast like that. You'd think they would want you to slow down, but... That's alright. I believe this is a timetable as well, so I'm not too good at timetables. But, uh, we'll try to get there as soon as possible. But, yeah, I like this train a lot, and I really like this route. I have no problems with it. It's just a nice, chill route. So guys, while we're doing this, I'm going to let you all know that I'm going to start streaming more. Um, definitely on Mondays and Thursdays, I'll be streaming at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I do plan on having a more afternoon stream some days. I haven't figured out which day yet. And also, I'm thinking of doing possibly a 9.30 Sunday night stream as well. But yeah, we're going to be streaming some good stuff. We're going to be having some recent streams and... Ooh, I need to start slowing down here. Hold on. Hold on. Oh boy. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. See that? That's what happens when you talk, man. Good thing that light's not red. That would be a bad thing. All right. Let's open the doors and see what we got here. But yeah, we're going to be streaming uh, Train Sim World 2, Snow Runner, The Hunter Call of the Wild. We're going to be having a more racing streams, um, you know, uh, GT Sport, Soto Corsa Competition, um, F1 2020, F1 2021 when it comes out. I plan on getting that. Yeah, a lot of fun stuff, guys. Alright, so I think we made that on time, so let's uh, take that off emer emergency. Um, let's see here. Oh, no, 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 we do need that on. There we go. <clears throat> Lock the doors. And... I hope I don't have to charge brakes because I put them on emergency, but we'll, we'll see. No, no, we're going. We're going. Sweet. All right, so let's rock and roll here, shall we? Let's get this thing going. We can go right up to about 65 miles an hour. So let's be on our way. Love going through the tunnels and, and the underpasses and all that. Such a such a cool thing. Look at that. I have no idea what that is, but I would love to know. If anybody knows what that is, drop that in the comments. I would love to know what that is over there. Well, that was weird. Whoa, okay, so we're in a tunnel. And <laughs> where are lights? Speed set adjust. Boy, I wish I knew how to do all this. But I don't. Wow, that is really dark. I need to figure out how to get some lights on in there. Find the lights. Um, store closed. The lights should be... Those are wipers. Okay, 3.6 miles, so we are good. Tail lights. Headlights. Wait a minute. Night running off. Day, day running, I guess? Whoa. We need to slow down here. Runaway train. Now, 
Now, are there any lights for in here, though? I don't see any. Hmm. That's strange. Okay, so we'll just start coasting. Door. There's all this stuff over here. Alright, I'm not sure, so... There's gotta be lights in here somewhere, I would imagine. I just don't know where. <laughs> that might be something to do. Just check out these trains and kind of see what everything is and what everything does and kind of just do videos, little tutorials about that. Might not be a bad idea. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Got a farm tractor in the field right there. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Love seeing the scenery. Such a relaxing game. You know, after playing like Ace Combat 7 and racing games and, and stuff like that, it's just really nice to, uh, you know, play a real chilled out game like this. Oh. Okay, that's a major drop in speed. Luckily, the brakes on this thing are really good. It slows it down pretty quickly. There we go. The funny thing is, is that when I was in the trains when I was a kid, I, uh, I never really thought much about how they drive them. You know, I didn't really think about that. I just liked trains, and I had the model train sets growing up, like, and stuff like that. But I never really thought much about the driving the train until I got this game. And now it's, like, something that's really interesting me. Okay, let's slow and start slowing down here because we're coming up to our stop. Okay, we need to slow it down a lot here. Alright, there we go. Now see, I really would like to know what this speed... Speed set it just is. I'd like to know if that uh, would help me at all. Let these fine people off here. Or possibly not. We're doing good on time. This is this is pretty cool. I'm enjoying this. Oh wait, 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 there's there's someone. Hey buddy. You wanna get on the train? Either one of you? Come on. No? Oh, the other train's taken off. No, I guess not. Okay, so we have to wait till 10, 14, 30. So this is new for me. I'm not usually... Uh, <laughs> I'm not usually just waiting around at the train station for the other time. Usually I'm always late, so we're doing pretty good here. Pretty good. And... Okay, we can lock the doors. And we can depart. 
Yo, leaving the train station. And it is slow going out of here, so we have to keep that in mind. Oh, cool! Look at that train. Is that yeah? That's the uh, that's the kind of freight train, I guess, on this route. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, so we can go 60 miles per hour coming up at about 600 yards. We are speeding it again. I don't, I don't really see where that does anything. Let's see here. What does this do? Adjust. Ooh, I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does. But uh it's it's on. Okay, I don't know what that does. We will mess with that. We will try to figure out what those things do at a later date. Right now, we are headed to Glind. If I'm mispronouncing these and you are from this area, I sure do apologize for that. 2.2 miles away. Nice, nice look at the countryside here. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, look at that, guys. That looks great. Slow it down a touch. There's not a lot of gradients so far on this route that I've, I've noticed anyway. Um, so now we're going downhill, but for the most part, it seems pretty even. I love to go through the farm country like that. Oh, hey, look at that. That looks like, um, oh, that looks like that map that Oxygen David did on, uh, on FS19. I can't think of what it was called. I was, I played on that map too. Dang it. It's pretty cool. Slow down a little bit. There we go. Let's go back in the train. See how things look from in here. We can actually open that window as well. There we go. Get some nice air going up in here. Okay, so now we're going uphill a little bit. Give it a little more juice because we don't want to be late. Especially considering how well we're doing. So yeah, what do you guys, th oh boy, we need to start slowing down like yesterday. So what do you guys think of this DLC, uh, if you have it, what do you think about it? I, I like it, I, I think it's easily one of my favorite ones I have for the game yet. Mm. Mm. <laughs> too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast. Oh god, oh god. Stop, 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 stop. God, I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that at all, but... The game seems to be okay with it. I guess everybody that's up here is just gonna have to walk to the back here to get off, but again... I don't see anybody really on the train. Yeah, I don't know. Strange. Pretty strange. But we got here ahead of schedule again, so we're doing really good on this one. 
Okay, so we have about 10 seconds left, and then we can lock these doors, and we can go. Let's, uh... Take that break down. All right. Now we're off to Berwick. And we can actually get going pretty good here. Nice little... Nice little shot of our departure here. Got some pretty yellow flowers growing there. Things are starting to pop up around my area now. We're starting to get some flowers popping up and the trees are starting to get buds on them. That always makes me feel better, you know, when you get that that nice uh, warm temperatures and you start to see the green coming back, the grass is growing. It always makes you feel really good. Just rejuvenated after a long winter. Alright, so we have 3.7 miles to go. Pretty good trip here. Emergency brake. Not gonna lie, I'm half curious to kind of hit that train car length eight. Interesting. Yeah, I'm almost just interested to just press it and see what happens, but I don't want to do it. And then it uh <laughs> score a time up or something here, so we'll just leave that alone. That may be something I do. After, after we get done here, and maybe I'll restart it again and, and see what that does. So yeah, I really wish someone would do a uh, tutorial on all these trains, on what all these things do, because you know if you're not an engineer, you know the regular average person isn't really going to know, are they? Oh, well, there we go. Hey, cab light on. Nice. <laughs> nice. Ooh, we're going pretty fast here. Ninety miles an hour. That's what ninety miles an hour looks like here on this train. This is a fast train, man. Ninety miles an hour ain't nothing to sneeze at. May not be as fast as the uh the, the ice trains, but Pretty good for a train like this, I think. Now, what I'm really curious about is if they're actually going to, you know, ever make a, a really pro proper, ah, proper, like, next-gen version of the game. I'm sure they will eventually because these developers, they can't just go on and support PS4 and the Xbox One forever. You know, eventually there's going to be a time when, you know, yeah, it's 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 going to come to an end. Oh, boy. We should have started slowing up a long time ago, guys. Oh, I got to get used to that. We were going so fast. Come on. Slow down, baby. Slow down. Slow down, slow down. Ooh, we might do it. We might do it. No, maybe not. No, I think we're going to do it. Oh, no way. Look at this. Haha, <laughs> guys, that was perfect. Holy crap, I couldn't have done that again if I tried. All right, let's unlock the doors and get these passengers unloaded and loaded. And then we can uh, we can head off to our next spot. And actually, a little bit slower this time, but we're good. We're good. We're still good. So 
Now, as you can see, and I'm glad I got this on video because a lot of people didn't believe me. As you can see, nobody has gotten on or off. So that's one thing that I really hope they get straightened out. Because, uh, oops. You know, not having passengers. It seems a little strange. It seems a little strange not having passengers. So it looks like we got two stops left, guys. Just two stops left. But yeah, I, uh, I really enjoy these. And it seems like the, uh, this route, they're not too long. The timetables aren't too long. I don't really know about the scenarios. This is only the third, um, <laughs> really thing in, in the journey. I don't know what they're called, because this ain't is a scenario. When you're doing the, uh, the journeys, they kind of mix it up. They give you timetables, they give you scenarios, so it's always something different. Which I actually appreciate. I don't want to just get on here and just do all the scenarios and do all the timetables. It's nice continuing the journey and, and just really mixing it up. Three miles to the next stop. So again, with as fast as we're going, we need to start slowing up sooner. That's, uh, that's what we definitely need to look at. Now, generally, I do enjoy the freight stuff a little better. But I, I do like the passenger, the passenger things too. Um... You know, I like the New York DLC. Of course, you know, guys, I'm American, so I do have a preference to the American DLCs, but I do enjoy this one, and there are some... There are some um, DLCs that I want that are based in the UK and in Europe. So we're like 1.6 miles out. We're going to just start coasting. Because I don't want to have to slam the emergency brakes on. It's one thing I really don't want to do. So I want to start slowing down now. Our next stop is Polgate. That's an interesting name. So yeah, we'll slowly start slowing down. I think we're doing good this time. Give it a little bit more break. Our time is pretty good. Start slowing it down a little more here. Okay. Now we can get rolling. Now we can get rolling. Let's just spin the camera around here so we can see where it is we have to stop. Okay. Okay, it helps if I actually put the brake on. I think we're good, though. I think we're good. We can always start slowing down a little faster if we have to. Which, I, yeah, I think we'll do one more. There we go. So let's go just a little further here. That looks perfect to me. 
Okay, so again, we're going to open these doors and let's see if anybody comes out or anybody gets on. It's weird because there's people here. They're just standing around, but they're not getting on the train. Let's see here, is there anybody even on the train? Okay, there's people on the train, so that's that's all right. All right, we're leaving a little late. <laughs> that's my fault because I was checking that. But yeah, as you can see, guys. Nobody got on, nobody got off. So let me know in the comments. Is that something that's just on PS4? Do you guys experience that on Xbox? Do you experience that on P I'm sure you don't experience that on PC, but I would be interested. And does anybody else experience that on their PlayStation? Because, you know, it would be nice to see passengers getting on and getting off more. And this next stop should be our last stop anyway, so. Pretty fun little route. Pretty fun. Check my speed quick. Whoa, okay. Nope, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> we're good, it's all good. Eastbourne, yes, that should be our last stop. See, you know, I didn't even check. Does this actually say anywhere on it? Where it's going? Or... That's all it says. Okay. So about three miles will be on our last stop. Very enjoyable route. It seems like the passenger routes aren't as long as the freight routes. <clears throat> Which I guess that makes sense, because you're doing a lot more stopping. Alright, let's slow down a little bit. Let's get at least to the speed here. There we go. I do like this train. I, I like it quite a bit. Now, if I continue the journey here, they're going to probably switch me to the freight train. <laughs> and that's going to completely screw me up. Because I definitely haven't driven that one in, I, well, actually ever. I did once in the tutorial, and that's it. Got the green lights. That's always something I like to see. Okay, we're going to start slowing up. Don't need to be going 75 miles an hour when we're a little over a mile out. Like I say, I don't want to just slam the brakes on because, oh man, if you did that in real life, people would be hitting their heads and every other dang thing. That wouldn't be good. Yeah, the speed limit's actually going to be dropping anyway, so that's actually perfect. That is actually perfect. Probably put that on one. And we'll start slowing down now because we are approaching. And when those go to the uh, the point, point nine, it seems to drop pretty quickly, so. Yeah, we're doing really good this time. I think we're doing really good this time.
We may actually even be able to just leave it on one. And if we really have to, we'll just coast. Yeah, we'll coast it in. We could even probably go just a little bit faster, I would say. But I am happy to say that we are going to get there on time. I hope, anyway. Yep, this is really nice, man. Really nice. This looks like this is like the actual end of the line here, so we need to make sure we stop this thing right on it. Yep, <laughs> we definitely do. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And <laughs> we made it with like 10 seconds to spare, so very cool. Now someone gets on. Really? You know, I feel like I may have done this one. Maybe not. No, no. No, I don't think so. That was an actual train station. That's right. All right, guys, and that is the end of that route. Let's see how we did. Really? Hmm. I only got a silver out of that, huh? Interesting. Well, that's okay. I mean, that's not something that I really concern myself with too much, guys. I really just enjoy playing this game. And that was a really fun route. Um, I think it would have been cool if we could take the train and go back again, you know, because that would be uh, that would be really cool. And that would make for a really good live stream. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I always have a lot of fun playing Train Sim World 2. And uh, if you did, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And remember, guys, Mondays and Thursdays, 9.30 p.m., we're going to be going live. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. Like I say, I'm probably going to be doing a Sunday night stream at 9.30 as well. And I'm also going to pick a day during the week to try to do an afternoon stream. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you join my Discord so you know when those times are. And, hey, we'll see you next time.